Do you want this? You want this, mommy? You can go swimming? This is Frida, everybody. Happy Tuesday. Doing what she loves to do more than anything in the world. Go swimming. She's already leaped into the pool all by herself before I even had a chance to get the video on. So she's already wet. And she's super excited because in my hand, I have her second favorite thing in the world other than the pool and swimming. And that is a coconut. You want it? You ready? Go show everybody how you jump in. You ready, Frida? One, two. <laughs> get it, Mommy, get it. You got it! Good girl! Good girl! Good girl, Frida! That one's still... Still not quite ready for you to tear apart yet, but it'll work. What are you doing? You gotta bring it back! Frida? So you all know Frida. We've had Frida almost a year. Give me that. Give that to me. Fourth of July will be a year that we have had Frida, which is far too long. Give me that coconut. <laughs> we tried desperately to show everybody her happy-go-lucky side. Her obedient side, everything, and so far we've had no luck with finding her a home, which is awful. She loves to run, she loves to jog, she loves to swim. She would make somebody an awesome athletic partner. She also loves to cuddle on the couch. Give me it. She's been with Jessie's nieces and nephews and has been fine with them. They have swim in the pool with her. The only thing is that she needs to be the only pet. Other than that, she's a great dog. She's probably one of the most obedient dogs that we have here in the rescue. When you tell her to do something, she listens and takes direction very well. Unless she has a coconut in her mouth. <laughs> Unless she has a coconut in her mouth and then she plays keep away. Give me that. You give me that. You give me that coconut. So we are desperately, desperately trying again to get a new video out of her to all of you for you to share to find Frida, her forever home. Aha! I got it. I got it, Mommy. Yes, I do. You want it? Good girl. You ready? One, two, go get it. <laughs> that was a little bit of a sloppy entry. Good girl. Good girl, Mama. Where are you going? <laughs> you gotta bring it back to me so I can throw it again. No. Frida. <laughs> She's such a good girl. She's such a loving, sweet, just a good dog. 
There's no reason that we should still have her after a year. There's just no reason for it. So we're begging all of you again to please share her video, even if she is not the right dog for you and you're not looking for a dog, you never know who on your friends list might be looking for a dog. Sharing saves lives. We say it every day and it is the truth. We get adoptions all the time where we ask, how did you find out about us? Oh, well, my friend shared a photo or my friend shared a video because they didn't even know about us and our rescue. So, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. <laughs> give me that coconut. Give me that coconut. <laughs> She is very proud of herself, Sarah. Yes, she is. <laughs> she loves her coconuts. And she loves to swim. Are you playing keep away? Are you playing keep away? I know what I could get to drop it. A hose. A hose. Oh, yeah, but if you get a hose, then that's all she wants. I know. I mean, we can use the hose. Do you have it out? She loves playing in the hose, too. Frida, look what Jessie's doing for you. Sarah, yes. As far as we know, of course, we would want the kids to meet her. But Jessie um, babysits her nieces and nephews, and uh, she's had her very, very young uh, niece, a few months old, out here in a stroller. Frida goes up and licks her hands and her feet and is good with her. And then she's had uh, her older nieces and nephews out here playing with her and getting in the pool with her. What is that, Frida? <laughs> It's the hose. I know you like the hose, but now you have to make a decision. <laughs> the hose water or the coconut, Frida? Which one is more important? <laughs> she does love the coconuts. She loves the coconuts and she loves the water. She loves the hose. <laughs> get it, Frida, get it. Get it, Frida. It's always great when we can get them out of the kennel and show them what it would be like to be in a, in a real home. Sadly, it's not for a long period of time. It's for a couple of hours, a couple of days a week. You know, our volunteers come and they get them out for walks, which is fantastic and we're eternally grateful. But it's not the same thing as being in a home because at night they're all alone in those kennels. <laughs> Jesse, put it in the water, see if she goes and gets it out again. Last time we were here, we threw the hose in the water and she desperately wanted to play with it again and she figured out how to get it out of the pool. Where did it go? Are you going to get it? Okay. You got to get it yourself. You've done it before. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? What happened? Yeah, you 
had the right idea. Is it too far down? There. Get it. There you go. You almost had it. Where is it? Where did it go? There you go, Mama. <laughs> I know, it's not the same. It's not the same when you do it yourself, huh? Once again, everybody, this is Frida. <laughs> Please share her video. July 4th will be a year that we've had her waiting for her forever home. And that is too long. So we're gonna sign off here and continue to play with Frida. Give her a break from being in the kennel on this beautiful hot day. 100 plus mansion dogs of Everglades, Florida with our beautiful goofy Frida still in search of her forever home. <laughs> Goofball. Happy Tuesday everyone with Frida, 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida.